an eye exam and wondered why you can't read the letters at the bottom? At a certain point, the space inside the letters blur, and they begin to look like one another. This is called the resolution limit, which for the human eye is about 0.04 millimeters, or about the diameter of a human hair. An optical microscope is like a powerful eye, which uses lenses to magnify the light that passes through an object so that you can see smaller and smaller features. And light is made up of photons. Because photons are massless particles, the effective size is measured by their wavelength. The wavelength varies, but the visible range is around 400 to 700 nanometers. But what if I want to see something smaller? At the University of Maryland, we use transmission electron microscopes, which uses accelerated electrons instead of photons. Electrons have a wavelength which is 200,000 times smaller than a photon. This enables us to see things we would never be able to see with the human eye. Such as gold atomic columns, carbon nanotubes, or even tiny pizzas. Just kidding. But you can look at biological samples in the TEM. These guys even want a Nobel Prize for it. The electron beam inside the TEM can not only be used to image samples, it can also be used to manipulate and interact with the samples. Turning the microscope into a mini lab. Mini lab. In my experiments, I simulate materials degradation in an ionizing environment like space. Overall, the TEM is an incredibly powerful tool, which allows us to perform complex experiments at the atomic scale. The material science and engineering makes it possible!